Hallo meine lieben Zuschauer und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge zu Fire Emblem Engage. Wenn euch das Video gefällt, dann lasst ein Abo und ein Like da und ich wünsche euch jetzt viel Spaß mit dem Video. Ja, moin Leute, ne und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge von Fire Emblem Engage. Ja, beim letzten Mal sind wir im Brodia einmarschiert, haben dort das äh, Emblem äh, und an uns genommen. Und wie wir im Nachhinein feststellen mussten, hat Nell in, in der Zwischenzeit, während wir sonst wie, was gemacht haben, geschlafen wahrscheinlich, einfach die königlichen Mitglieder umgebracht. Zumindest macht es den Anschein. Ich hoffe mal, dass sie es eigentlich nicht getan hat. Aber man kann davon ausgehen. Heute wollen wir jedenfalls in Elusia einmarschieren. Hoffentlich äh, stirbt hier diesmal keiner. Aber bevor wir dies machen, über mir ist ein Zeitstempel. Für Bandgespräche und ja, wir sehen uns dann gleich in der Start wieder. Im Übrigen, was die Emblemgespräche angeht, die nehme ich extra nach der Story auf. Dass ich die Emblemgespräche von den neuen Emblemen da äh, hauptsächlich zeige. Nur damit ihr da Bescheid wisst. Also ja, wie gesagt, wir sehen uns gleich. Thanks for training with me, Madeline. No, thank you. It was an honor to spar with someone of your talents. Actually, may I say something? Before we part ways. Of course. What is it? I just want to say how much I admire you. You are so earnest and optimistic. Not to mention how graciously you accepted those of us from another world. What sets you apart as a leader is not your divine dragon roots, but your kind heart. Oh, I appreciate your kindness. But that's quite a few compliments to throw my way at once. For what it's worth, you're incredible too. You're loyal and fearless in battle. I'm grateful that you came to our world. Please, it is a knight's role to charge bravely into battle. I don't need praise for doing my duty. After all, it's not the recognition that matters. It's the fact that I'm serving my purpose in helping you secure victory. That's very reassuring to hear. Now, I must be off to my next engagement. If ever you're short of sparring partner, feel free to call on me again. Amazing! What a remarkable novel. Hello, little prince. All finished reading? Lady Nell, this is unexpected. Is it? I have been eager for an opportunity to speak with you. What about? You are no doubt aware that I am a child of the fell dragon Sombrong. Despite our differences in heritage, you are also a child of royalty. We have this in common. I never understood my father. I thought perhaps you could share some experiences with yours. I've always wanted to be like my father, though there were times I failed to understand him too. He's always been considered a great king for his military might. That isn't how I'd like to rule. Different ideologies, then. You could say that. We occasionally butted heads over the future of Brodia. Yet you were not sentenced to death for the defiance of your Lord Father. Why? What do you mean, why? We don't execute people over simple disagreements in Brodia. I see. Unlike your father, Lord Sombron preferred to silence all dissent with execution. To object to his decree was out of the question. To survive... There was no choice but to obey. I can't even imagine living under such a vile dictatorship. I'm so sorry. There is no need to apologize. That is all in the past for me now. Hearing of your experiences has taught me a great deal. I hope we will speak again soon. Of course. <laughs> Having fun again, Princess Tamara? Yep, tons. Let me guess, you are training? Not today. I'd actually like to join you on your walk through town. I might learn a few things. Ooh, you're going to hang out with me today? Sweet! Come on then. This looks like a perfect spot for us to kick things off. Here, in this public place? What are we kicking off exactly? Today's the day I sing for everyone. Come on, Prince Diamond. Now join the fun! M me? No, I don't. Uh, that's not what I... 
Oh, wow, would you look at that? Who knew the big tough prince was a scaredy cat? I am the crown prince of Brodia. I am not a scaredy cat. Let me just... Uh... <clears throat> oh, Brodia! A land of strength and might! Evil men aren't allowed there! Oh no, now everyone is staring at me! Princess Tamara, what do I do now? Just keep singing, you goofball! <sighs> that was much, much more difficult than my usual combat training. Good. So, what did you think of doing things my way for a change? This is how you interact with your queendom? And you do this all the time. I will admit, it was nice to feel challenged, like a breath of fresh air. That said, I'm probably not cut out for your brand of leadership. I feel better suited to serving through physical strength and combat. Makes sense. To each their own and all that. Thanks for letting me join you, Princess Tamara. I had fun today. I had a good time too. We both got our own styles, but we make a pretty good team. The War Council is not for a while yet. I should find a way to fill the time. The weather is warm and lovely today. Perhaps I should simply relax and enjoy it. <sighs> I must have dozed off. Hmm? What is this roasted meat doing here? Did someone forget to eat? Unplanned naps seem to have become a habit of mine. Hmm. Roasted meat sitting out upon the ground again. Mysterious. Surely the owner would have noticed two missing meals. <sighs> okay. She's fast asleep. Secret snack, activate! Stop right there. Yeet! Princess of Solm. You are the one who has been leaving roasted meat in my presence. What? <laughs> no. Then explain what you have there. It's a fashion accessory. Anyway, sorry to bother you, bye! Hold a moment, I only wanted to ask... No use. She is gone. How perplexing. I brought you something to eat, Lady Vale. <gasps> Cynthia! Um... No. It's Celestia, isn't it? I'm sorry. Forget I said anything. Are you alright? You appear to be sweating. If you'll allow me, I can dab away the sweat for you. Here, it won't take but a moment. Uh, no, it's fine. I can do it myself. Please, it's no bother at all. I want to take care of you. I could help with your hair. It's so pretty. I bet it would look lovely done up. Oh, I know. I could braid it for you. Th thank you. <laughs> oh, um, how do you braid someone else's hair again? What? Oh, I remember. If I were doing my own, I would cross one lock of hair over like so, and... Ow! 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 It hurts when you pull it that hard. I'm sorry. Dear me, it's tangled now. Um, how do I... Uh... Oh my... It's really tangled now. I'll fix it later. Don't worry about it. I'm truly sorry. I'll take my leave before I make things any worse. Duh! I forgot to leave your meal! <laughs> Celestia's a bit overzealous, isn't she? It's rather unexpected.
Lady Vale? You look shocked. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. Um, Gregory, I'm sorry. Please don't mind me. Actually, I'm glad I ran into you. I've been wanting to talk to you for a while now. Instead of standing here, would you prefer to sit on that tree stump while we chat? Uh, I don't have anything to use as a blanket. I should have thought ahead. It's fine. We can just talk while standing. Or you can sit on the stump. I'm fine sitting on the ground. What? No, I can never ask you to do that. Please, take the stump. I'd feel terrible if you had to sit in the dirt because of me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be difficult. No, don't apologize. I just... Wait, you're shaking. Are you okay? I'm fine. Seeing you brings back memories. Memories of the me from this world, you mean? Judging by your expression, I'm guessing they aren't good ones. I'm sorry, Gregory. I do understand that you are a different person. It's just that... well... It's okay. You don't need to explain. I'm making you uncomfortable. We can talk another time. I'm just grateful I was able to see your face and hear your voice. Please, don't worry about it. I'll see you around, Lady Vale. He looks just like Gris, but they couldn't be more different. I should try to be friendlier. Lady Vale, forgive the interruption, but I'd like to formally introduce myself. Huh? Marnie? Is that you? Madeline, actually. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, yes, of course. Nice to meet you. And you. I swear, as a knight, I will do all I can to support you in battle. You know, Mavir told me about you. He said you were strict, but kind and noble. Mavir? You must mean... Sorry, yes. The one from my world. But from fighting by your side, I believe you're quite similar to the veil he spoke of. Thank you. Really, that's kind. Is something wrong? The way you're looking at my face... <sighs> oh no. Do I have something in my teeth? Excuse me while I find a mirror. No, it's not that. You just look like someone I used to know. Your smile... It reminds me of hers. She had such a lovely smile. How kind of you to say so. My parents like to say that one's face reflects one's inner self. So in complimenting my smile, I feel as if you're praising my very soul. Not that praise is what ultimately matters. As a knight, I care only about doing what's right. You don't... care about praise. <laughs> Dear, I meant no offense. Really, I did appreciate the compliment. It's not that. You've been perfectly kind. This is my fault. Please excuse me. We'll have to chat some other time. Of course, Lady Vale. I look forward to it. I was trained by my own father, just like you, Alchrist. Seems we have that in common. I'm not worthy of such a favorable comparison, but I would like to hear more about your father. Improving my kingdom, surpassing my father as king. I'm not sure I can actually do all of that. Don't worry about can or can't. You just have to do it. That's what dedicated training is for, right? To make sure you reach your goals? That's exactly right. <laughs> I like talking to you, Ike. I wonder what it really means to be a knight. I'd be honored if you could teach me your ways. What it means to be a knight? I don't think there's one easy answer. But I'll think about it. I hid my country roots out of shame. But it sounds like you had more dire reasons, Corin. My two homelands were at war with each other. 
My upbringing was a tangled web of deception, but don't compare yourself to me. If you want to keep your origin a secret, I'll support you. No platitudes? Whew. <laughs> Thank you, Corin. I hope I'm as strong as you someday. Have you given any thought to working in my shop? I'd make it worth your while. What would I do? Sales? Security? If we were being robbed, I could only yell at the thief. Au contraire! One mean look from you is worth a dozen hired brutes. Do you think so? Still, the answer is no. It's you who makes this shop work and no one else. Jade? I can feel you staring at me. Do I have something on my face? Huh? No. Sorry, Leaf. I was lost in a new story idea, but... It's gone now. I am grateful for your allegiance. With you by my side, I shall atone for my past crimes. You are a warrior with a righteous heart, and I am proud to join your cause. You plot and scheme in service of one. Will you fight for their happiness? You trust, love, and care for one. Do you wish to make them yours alone? The country of boulders has crumbled. The country of flowers has wilted. Let them be. One knows the truth. In this world, there is no mercy. My yearning does not exist here. Nell! Nell! Look around. The wind flowers have bloomed. Beautiful. The sight of them is rejuvenating, even in the midst of this brutal war. Let's take some to show the others. We can pick this blue one and that red one. It feels wrong to pick them. Perhaps we should invite the others here instead. You know, I think you're right. That's a much better idea. I love how you take care of everyone, Nell. I am just following your example. <laughs> A dream. Such sentiment no longer becomes me. <sighs> I must put this foolishness out of mind. The kingdom of Illusia is certainly chilly. Yes, and much easier to get into than Brodia. I'm almost disappointed. It was too easy if you ask me. Why were the checkpoints empty? It feels wrong and kind of scary, if I'm being honest. It is odd that we've run into so few guards. What are your thoughts now? <clears throat> are you feeling all right? It seems like you haven't been sleeping much. I heard you coming back to camp last night. It was pretty late. It will not affect my performance in battle. And that should be your only concern. She's in a bad mood. Just grumpy from not getting enough sleep. Let's give her some space. I do wonder where she slipped off to last night. Hopefully nowhere dangerous. Madeline's due to meet up with us soon. She's been spying on Illusia. The plan is for Zelestia to bring her from the rendezvous point. Should be here any minute. Ah, there they are! Hello? Hello, Lord Nil. Lady Nell. I hope your journey wasn't too arduous. Gregory, you look well. Celestia was just filling me in on all that's occurred. I take it this is our esteemed guest. Yes. Madeline, meet the Divine Dragon from another world. Incredible. Outward differences aside, 
It feels as if our leader was brought back to life. What to say? I'm at a loss for words. I understand how you feel, Madeline. I was moved to tears upon our first meeting. It's all right, just let it out. Celestia, I am not going to cry. Would you please stop treating me like a child? Oh, of course. Apologies, dear. Divine One, pleased to make your acquaintance. I am Madeline of the Four Winds. I may be the youngest of our group, but I assure you I'm no less capable than the others. And I swear to protect you, come what may. Thank you, Madeline. I appreciate your help. Glad to be of service. You were such a snot-nosed little brat when we first met. But you've grown a lot, kid. I bet Mavir is proud, too. Especially since he's the one who recruited you. I was never snot-nosed. But, of course, I would be delighted to know I've made Mavir proud. Mavir? Is he...? Yes, the other member of the Four Winds and my second-in-command. Quite a fighter, too. Mavir once served as a knight to Sombron's army. When his superior died, he changed sides. His superior? Nell? Nil? Was that one of your siblings? It was indeed. Though not a sibling we ever met. I recall being surprised to learn that father allowed one of his children to retain a knight. For that very reason. I initially suspected Mavir of being a spy. I thought perhaps Sombron had tasked him with tracking Nil and me down. But my suspicions proved unfounded. Mavir earned the Divine Dragon's wholehearted trust. I can't wait to introduce you to him, Divine One. It was Mavir who founded the Four Winds. I would have considered him the top choice as leader, but that role fell to me for some reason. I bet it's because you're so old. Excuse me? Enough. Madeline, please give us your report. As of yesterday, Elugia Castle has been almost totally vacated. Only a few soldiers remain. The Queen and her royal guard are in Hassad Cathedral, performing a ritual of some kind. A ritual? You don't mean... They intend to revive Sombron. I'd consider that a safe guess. I anticipated this might happen. The Illusion people are quite devoted to our father, after all. We went to great lengths to secure the aid of a divine dragon. This response is only logical. I would not call it logical to resurrect a corpse. But they lack our ability to summon help from realms beyond. Uh, I must say, I'm conflicted at the thought of seeing Father again. Now that I think on it, we have not heard from our mysterious enemy since Lethos. Perhaps this ritual has kept them occupied. On your guard, everyone. Someone on horseback is coming this way. Illusion Cavalry? No. The rider is... Mavir? Mavir! Madeline, you are unharmed. What a relief. And it appears this area is still secure. What a surprise, Mavir. We were just talking about you. Good to see you, Lord Nil, Lady Nell. What are you doing in Illusia? Your orders were to stay in Solm, gathering intelligence. I intended to, but the Queen of Solm departed the palace. I was following her and ended up in Illusia. So the Queen of Solm is here? Why? Please forgive my grievous failure in not anticipating this. But Queen Tamara has entered Illusia with bracelet in hand and troops by her side. It is, in effect, an invasion. I see. I wonder if this is related to Illusia's ritual in some way. Perhaps the Solmic army intends to storm the church to prevent the resurrection of Sombron. I do not know if Illusia has yet moved to defend itself, but it is only a matter of time. A clash of armies will complicate the matter. We should proceed with haste. Yes, I can lead the way. Oh, I should probably introduce myself before we head out. You are the Divine Dragon from another world, am I correct? Uh, yes, actually. I am Mavir, second of the Four Winds. Pleased to meet you. Now, shall we? Hmm. Huh. I was kind of expecting another big reaction.
The armies are fighting in front of Hassad Cathedral. The battle has already begun. We're too late. Perhaps this is to our benefit. We would be at a disadvantage against either force alone. Let us get to their leaders and reclaim the bracelets while they are distracted. Illusia is commanded by Queen Ivy and Solm by Queen Tamara. They hold the bracelets of the strategist and of the doting sister, respectively. Defeating just those two should be achievable. Are you prepared for this, Divine One? I am. With your permission, I will head to the cathedral and attempt to disrupt the ritual. An excellent idea. Proceed, Malvir. Very good. All right. Let's go. Okay. Wir haben viele Feinde vor uns. Naja, die vier Kameraden, die ich nutze, sind dann aber eigentlich safe. Was hast denn du dafür... Ach, das sind Bäume. Ich dachte, was hat sie da für komische Panzerarme? Okay, wir haben zwei Armeen gegen uns. Die gelbe Armee und die rote. Sind es nur Ivy und äh, Timera oder ist Hortensia und äh, Fogado auch hier? Emblems Zoren. Zoren war ein richtig cooler Charakter. Bei dem Spiel, wo er vorhanden war. Er war ja in zwei Spielen sogar. Von Fire Emblem. Einmal von Ike und einmal von Mikaya. Ich gucke gerade sicher, aber wie gesagt drüber. Aber ich sehe weder Hortensia. Noch sehe ich Fogado. Okay, dann heißt es erstmal Truppen anpassen. So Leute, ich habe meine Truppen angepasst. Ich habe sowohl die Säumerkönigsfamilie jetzt hier bei mir, als auch die andere Königsfamilie. Und da bin ich mal gespannt. Die gehen doch bestimmt aufeinander auch los. Soll ich die dann einfach äh, zu mir kommen lassen? Ist jetzt gerade meine Frage, oder soll ich wirklich in die Offensive gehen? Ich müsste vor allen Dingen prüfen, ob ne, die äh, Illusia-Armee, äh, beziehungsweise ob Ivy eventuell auch auf Timera und Fogado reagiert und genauso umgekehrt mit Ivy und Hortensia. Naja, das werde ich ja alles gleich testen können, ne? Illusia und Solm sind in der Thick of Battle. Im Übrigen. Das sage ich jetzt. Als ich das Kapitel gestartet habe, hieß es, es wären mehrere Schlachten am Stück. Also ich denke mal, Kapitel 5 wird direkt darauf folgend getriggert. Ja, die sind gelb markiert. Ja, wahrscheinlich auch genauso umgekehrt. Das habe ich mir schon gedacht. Ich habe jetzt erstmal äh, für vier von den Kameraden hier das aus dem Vorrat das Zeug geholt. Es äh, stört mich wirklich ein bisschen, dass ich das Zeug immer äh, erst aus dem Vorrat greifen muss und sie nicht einfach direkt vorher schon ausstatten kann. Das nervt mich wirklich massiv. Okay. So, hier kann ich einfach mit Toren angreifen. Ich habe jetzt schon im Gefühl, dass das eine sehr kurze Schlacht wird. Und wieder einer weg. Na dann, mal sehen. Sollen sie sich doch gegenseitig vernichten. Sie konzentrieren sich auch null auf mich.
Die kriegen doch 100 pro Verstärkung, oder nicht? Also beide Einheiten, beziehungsweise beide Teams. Die werden noch 100% durchgehend Verstärkung in die ganze Zeit kriegen. So, Sayonara. So, ich greife dich mal mit Toron an, dann bist du weg. So, Astra Sturm, Meisterbogen. Ich habe viel zur Auswahl. Ich glaube, ich gehe auf den hier. So, nochmal Toren hier. Und ich würde auch sagen, ich konzentriere mich erstmal auf Illusia. Sayonara. Ich habe nicht zufällig schon Sandsturm mit ihr. Nee, leider noch nicht. Weißt du, wenn ich mal nicht da bin, dann führen direkt alle Krieg miteinander. So, ich mache hier jetzt Toron. Ich würde mal sagen, hier bereite ich dann jetzt mal mit dem Ritter tot. Dann sind die beiden weg. So, und dich kann ich ja direkt über den Haufen schießen. Mit Madeline habe ich übrigens Ike und habe da jetzt Afi aktiviert mit dem Hammer. Ist irgendwie ein Genuss da einfach zuzusehen, wie sie sich gegenseitig abschlachten. Es ist irgendwo satisfying. Hey, wo willst du hin? So, erstmal Elf hier. Ich sollte mich eventuell ein bisschen auch um die gelbe Armee kümmern. Ich mache hier einmal Toron. Even as a sacrificial offering, he wasn't worth much. You slew him? Why? For what? You've destroyed Illusia. Is there even anyone left to call you queen? Holy. Okay. Das Emblem von ihr heilt sie. Speer, go! Ich versuche mich gerade ein bisschen von der Armee, die gerade da oben erschienen ist, zu entfernen. So, Elfendonner. Dann machen wir den Soldaten mal weg. Okay. Da oben kämpfen sie weiter miteinander. Das war irgendwo klar. Okay, Ivy will wirklich den Kampf vermeiden. Ja, das unterstütze ich. Dann 
Ach, schade, dass ich kaum treffe. Bewegt sich Timer jetzt äh, auch oder? Ja, Timer geht in den Angriff über. Warte, was? Nein! Warum? Wieso? Weshalb? Was habe ich verbrochen? Weg mit dir. Hier muss ich mal mit dem Meisterbogen draufhauen. Ich auch, Forgado. Ich auch. So, ich beschütze hier gerade alle mit Schildbund. Da ist ein riesiger mir. Vor allem das da. Das gefällt mir nicht. Was habt ihr für eine Reichweite? Schildbund. Schildbund rettet mir den Hintern. Ja, du bist Riff. Ich muss auf jeden Fall von den Bergen weg. Ich liebe es, wenn es ein Crit ist. Jetzt kommt sie wieder. Wie gesagt, ich muss dringend von den Bergen weg. Damit die Weihe von mir im offenen Feld stehen. Sonst habe ich ein Problem. So, die schwäche schon mal vor. Das könnte eine anstrengende Schlacht werden. Ich deine Axt nie. Ich muss schon sagen, Neil und Nell sind irgendwie nicht wirklich starke Charaktere. Die machen kaum Damage. Ich mach hier mal Elfendonner. Ich muss dringend von den Bergen da weg. So, dich werde ich jetzt erstmal los. Und nicht bloß von den Bergen wegkommen. Soll der andere doch zu mir kommen, den lasse ich in Ruhe. Hauptsache ich komme vom Berg weg. Excalibur los. Das heilige Schwert. Das sah cool aus. So, einmal den Meisterbogen rauspacken, dann klappt das schon. Oh, dich hätte ich gar nicht vorschwächen müssen. Aber oh. dieser Schildbund, er befahrt mich vor Schaden. Okay, Ivy kommt näher. Okay, diese Donnerachs ist heftig, wie es scheint. So, Tomahawk passt. Mit Medaline habe ich zumindest einen General bei mir, der was aushalten kann. Okay. Mit Bund, also mit äh, Bündnis, kann ich den einen Weifern schon mal vernichten. Und das ist wichtig. Meisterbogen auf den Säulensoldaten. Ja. 
just how I like. <lacht> Leute, ich habe gerade den Schaden zusammengerechnet. Wenn ich jetzt äh, hier mit Elfendonner auf den Drachen gehe und dann mit Excalibur äh, bei Ivy nutze, dann kann ich den Beifall in einer Runde vernichten. Diese verzerrten Drachenviecher sind so zum Kotzen. So. Alle Truppen wurden gerade mal von mir geheilt. I'll explain when this battle's over and you're ready to listen to reason. It isn't fair. The Divine Dragon is returned to life while Lord Sombron languishes in death. No follower of the Fell Dragon will tolerate this. Elusia will not stand for it. The ritual must be completed. The Fell Dragon's power and glory must be restored. I will see it done with my own hands. Ivy is verrückt geworden. If you've come to stop the ritual, don't worry. I'll ensure you find nothing but death here. Ouchen. Der Schildbund hat gerade richtig viel abgefangen. Guess I did it right. Ja, das stört mich nicht. Böse. Ey, nicht aus welchen Frech. Tschüss. Okay, Team Mera ist da oben beschäftigt. Diese Donnerachs äh, scheint offenbar auch eine Fernkampfwaffe zu sein. So, willst du auf Fortensia einfach nur nicht reagieren? Well, if it isn't the good for nothing second princess. The sight of you makes me sick. Ivy, what's gotten into you? Don't you Ivy me? You've no right to be so familiar. I've warned you countless times. If your plan was to collude with Sorm to get my attention, congratulations. You've succeeded. This is how you always talk to the Hortensia of this world, isn't it? And I'm glad you said all that to me. Because for once at least, she won't have to hear it. Das nennt sich Geschwisterliebe. Ich bin Tomok. That'll teach you to underestimate me. Ich werde einmal mit Fogado jetzt prüfen, ob, äh... Ivy bei ihm ein Gespräch hat. Ich werde ihn aber danach zurücksetzen. Weil Forgado wird sie so oder so umbringen. Oh, tatsächlich nicht. Aber ich werde trotzdem zurücksetzen. Okay, kein Gespräch. Das hat mich interessiert. Aber mit Timera wahrscheinlich. Weg mit dem Bogenschützen. So, dich kann ich mit Excalibur ausschalten. Solange du nicht zum Zug kommst, bist du für den äh, Reit der hier auch keine Bedrohung. Das bringt mich gerade auf den Trichter. Dich muss ich auch ausschalten. So, auf wen geht Ivy mit ihrem Gewitter? Auf die da oben? Soll mir recht sein. Da 
Daneben. Was willst du hier bei mir unten? Gute Frage, ich verantworte sie hier soweit ich kann. Hier steht sie zumindest bei mir unten. So, jetzt kann ich ja ein bisschen rumprobieren. Mit dem Ritter tut mache ich die ein bisschen weniger Schaden. Neben Dann greife ich dich jetzt mit Fogado an und setze danach zurück, dass die beiden dich nicht angegriffen haben, dass wir die Gespräche haben, weil ich werde es nicht durchbringen, dass ich mit jedem angreifen kann, ohne dich umzubringen. In der Welt scheint er tot zu sein. So, jetzt wie gesagt drehe ich die Zeit zurück, dass die beiden nicht angegriffen haben. Einmal mit Elfen, Donner und Ivy. Okay, da kommt kein Gespräch, obwohl sie eigentlich gerade gegeneinander kämpfen. Aber der Text ist ganz leicht anders gewesen. So, jetzt äh, greife ich mal an. So, diesmal lasse ich sie tot. Ich lasse Ivy ihren Spaß haben und kümmere mich jetzt eher um die Armee. Wir haben ja jetzt jedes Gespräch einmal gehabt.
Sollen wir mit Excalibur ihn hier fertig machen? Ich muss hier die Truppe einfach dezimieren. Und hoffe darauf, dass äh, Ivy ein Gewitter macht. Dann kann ich sie auch nochmal angreifen. So, Toren reicht aus, um dich zu vernichten. Ich gehe nicht davon aus, dass Timera ein Gespräch mit ihr hat, aber ich äh, teste es trotzdem mal. Nee, hat sie auch nicht. Okay, hab's jetzt zumindest getestet. Ich mache ein Bündnis, damit ich ihn hier vernichten kann. So, mit der Stahlgroßlanze mache ich hier auch ordentlich Damage. So, die kann ich auch noch vernichten. Dann ist ja nur noch einer. Ja, auf sowas habe ich ungefähr gehofft. Das überspringe ich einfach mal. So, ich schwäche dich mal ein bisschen mit Elfenwind vor. So, und dann beenden wir den Schmarrn hier. So, ich gehe da mal aus dem Bild. Dich aufgehalten. Zu Recht sogar. Ja, Timera ist die Heldin. Sowohl diese als auch die andere. The battle is decided. Relinquish the bracelets. Nell, what are you doing? I am on your side. We are bringing our Lord, your father, back to life. I never asked you to do so. Lady Nell, a ritual was indeed taking place in the cathedral. The priests surrendered to our forces, and I have dismantled the altar. Splendid work, Mavir. The ritual was our last hope for Lucia. How could you? I will never forgive you for this. I don't care if you're Lord Sambron's daughter. Soldiers, if there is any strength left in you, kill that woman. We risk them regrouping if we draw this out. This is your final warning. Give us the bracelets. Never! I will never hand over Solm's bracelet. If you want it, you'll have to kill me first. That is a pity. So be it. Nell, what are you going to do? Avert your eyes, Divine One. Lest this sight disturb you. What? Yeah! I always knew you were a monster. No! The bracelets are now ours. How could you? Don't you have any feelings? I did warn you to avert your eyes. We are finished here. Let us be on our way. How did we get here? Rest well, Emblem Soren, Emblem Camilla. This world never did interest me much. However, I do wish we were freed from fighting this pointless war. Is this goodbye already? I had a little more fight in me. Oh well. But next time. I hope we can have a proper chat.
The emblems are safely in slumber. Only one bracelet remains. Nell, our mission was to take the bracelets. We said nothing, nothing about killing Ivy and Tamara. Two nations rulers, dead. What will become of their subjects now? I did not kill them. It is impossible to take a life that has already been lost. What? Explain yourself. Those were no harmless little humans. Those were the corrupted. What? No. The royals we fought in Firenay and Brodia were the same. They're soldiers as well. All of them. You're saying they were all dead? So are any other humans still alive? Or is it just us? The common folk I spoke to during my mission in Firenay, were they all corrupted? We've been fighting a war we had no hope of winning. Did you know of this as well, Lord Nil? I had my suspicions, but I was never sure. They seemed much the same as they always were. Who could have done something like this? I do not know when they perished, nor when they became corrupted. They did not seem to be aware of their own condition either. You should have told us. I thought it would be best to conceal such an unpleasant truth. Always making decisions for others. Why not at least discuss this with Nil? Or the winds? You are right. I apologize. But you come from another world. And you will return to that world when this war is over. I thought to spare you the sight of the corpses of your friends and allies. And you should certainly not be expected to kill them with your own hands. Yes. Well... I truly did consider confiding in Nil and the Four Winds. I weighed the idea often, but had I told them, it would have only been a matter of time until you bore the same burden. You are just like the Divine Dragon of this world. You care deeply for your friends. Such strong bonds deserve consideration. So what? You did all this to protect me? Perhaps I did. Either way, I regret my choice. I hope you can accept my apology. No. I'm sorry for getting upset. They were your friends, your allies. More than they were mine. You had to watch them die. Not only that, but kill them yourself. That must have been awful. And you put yourself through all that just to protect me. Thank you. I didn't realize. How much you take care of everyone now? <laughs> Those words. Hmm? Nell, what's the matter? Do not touch me! <laughs> you really hate me, don't you? Yes. I hate that I ever laid eyes on you. Would that anyone else had answered our prayer. Nell, please. This is too much. Lord Nell. The Divine Dragon of this world was more kind than anyone I have ever known. Protective and caring and brave and strong. Accepting of us, despite our fell dragon blood. We admired the flowers together and laughed together, and shared so much of ourselves. Every farewell was pain, no matter how brief. And every reunion gave me new life. You said you would be coming home. That very day, I had finally resolved to tell you. No, I'm sorry, I don't... Why did you have to go and die? I loved you. <sighs> you promised you would return. You promised to come home. We sealed the oath with our fingers interlocked. Your hand was warm. And next I felt it. Cold. Your demeanor, your words, your kind spirit. They are all reminders of what I lost. I've been causing you pain just by being here. It is not your fault. Even I know that. But the more time I spend near you, the closer my feelings come to what they once were, and that would be unforgivable. 
because you are not the one I loved. So that's why you've been so harsh and distant toward the Divine Dragon. <sighs> I need to clear my head. Lady Nell, wait! It is dangerous for Nell to be out there alone. Winds, would you follow her? I will wait here, where it is safe. Of course, Lord Nell. Nell left the bracelets behind when she stormed off. Oh well. Yeah. Will you not be going after her, Divine One? I think I should probably stay here. Perhaps you're right. It is going to be difficult for Nell to return. Vulnerability has never come easily to her. And now she has gone and confessed her love in front of everyone. I am certain she regrets it. It is a good thing the Four Winds are around to coddle her. You know her so well. I suppose I do. I am her twin brother, after all. I know all her favorite things. Her habits and preoccupations. I know how delicate she can be. But there is one thing I do not know, and am ever so curious about. How will she handle losing the one she cares for most a second time? Huh? I really must find out. I hope that is all right with you. What are you talking about? Look behind you, Divine One. Emblem Tiki! I roused her from her slumber. <laughs> Surprised? That is why I asked whether you intended to follow my sister. A pity you chose to remain here, with me. And now, farewell, Divine One. I did it! I roused an emblem from slumber! At last, I have a power of my very own! Now I can finally be of use! Now I will no longer be a failure! I must show Nell right away! That would be ill-advised. Father! Continue to play the role of the weakling. Hide your true strength. Outwit the others. But... You are capable. Perhaps you are capable of becoming my true heir. Your power even surpasses your twin sisters. <sighs> Okay, Leute, ich mache hier ausnahmsweise mal im Speichermenü in den Break, weil ich glaube, dass das ab hier direkt zu Dämonenwelt 5 springt. Ich denke mal nicht, dass Neil es schafft, uns zu töten. Irgendwas wird dazwischen kommen. Aber schon krass, dass das äh, alle Verzerrte waren. Äh, das hätte ich jetzt nicht gedacht. Na gut, ich hoffe, ihr hattet alle Spaß beim Zusehen. Wenn ja, ein Abo und ein Like da lassen. Und es geht hier beim nächsten Mal genau an der Stelle, genau genommen nach dem Speicherbildschirm weiter. Bis dann.